ever felt manipulated or controlled in a relationship? It could be a case of emotional blackmail. This insidious form of manipulation is often wielded by individuals who, in psychological terms, may be identified as narcissists. Their tool of choice? Emotional blackmail, a potent strategy that uses fear, guilt, and obligation to control and exploit others. In the world of emotional blackmail, vulnerability is the first pawn on the chessboard. Narcissists may feign vulnerability, expressing fear, sadness, or even threats of self-harm if their demands are not met. This performance, as heart-wrenching as it may seem, serves to create a sense of responsibility and obligation in their victim. The more the victim feels responsible for the narcissist's emotional well-being, the easier it becomes to control them. Then comes the second pawn, guilt and obligation. A master manipulator, the narcissist knows how to twist past experiences and shared history to their advantage. They create a sense of indebtedness or guilt in their victim, making it difficult for them to refuse even the most unreasonable requests. The victim often feels bound by this invisible chain of obligation, making it easier for the narcissist to control their actions. Isolation is the third and perhaps most potent pawn in the narcissist's game of emotional blackmail. By isolating the victim from their support network, the narcissist ensures that the victim becomes more reliant on them. This isolation makes the victim less likely to seek help or validation elsewhere, leaving them at the mercy of the narcissist's manipulation and control. These tactics, while distressing, are just the setup for the narcissist's grand scheme. They pave the way for the narcissist to gain control and power over their victim, manipulating their emotions and actions to serve their own needs. As the victim becomes more entangled in this web of control, they may find themselves unable to resist the narcissist's demands, leading to a cycle of manipulation and control. These tactics lay the groundwork for the narcissist's control and manipulation. The stage is set, the pawns are in place, and the game of emotional blackmail is ready to begin. Once the stage is set, the narcissist employs various tactics to control and exploit others. It's like a puppeteer pulling the strings, expertly maneuvering their victim into a dance of their design. Threats and ultimatums become the narcissist's language of choice. Love, affection, even basic support become bargaining chips in their game of control. They paint a stark picture, comply with their demands or face the withdrawal of these vital emotional resources. Ultimatums like it's me or them force the victim into a corner, creating a false dichotomy that leaves no room for compromise. But the manipulation doesn't stop at threats. Guilt trips become a common occurrence, with the narcissist often playing the victim themselves. They might claim that their unhappiness or misfortune is the victim's fault, twisting the narrative to suit their agenda. The victim is then left grappling with feelings of guilt and responsibility for the narcissist's well-being. Emotional manipulation is another tool they wield with precision. The narcissist might swing between emotional extremes, using tears and anger outbursts to elicit sympathy or compliance. Silence, too, becomes a weapon, with the silent treatment serving to punish non-compliance and create a tension that only giving in can relieve. Perhaps the most insidious tactic is emotional hostage-taking. The narcissist may threaten their own emotional well-being, creating a high-stakes scenario where the victim feels they have no choice but to give in to their demands. The threat of self-harm or of lashing out creates an atmosphere of fear and urgency, placing the victim in a perpetual state of stress and anxiety. Each of these tactics serves a single purpose, to establish and maintain control. They create a sense of fear and obligation in the victim, forcing them to comply with the narcissist's demands, no matter how unreasonable. It's a cycle that can be incredibly difficult to break, but recognizing these tactics for what they are is the first step towards reclaiming control. These tactics create a sense of fear and obligation in the victim, forcing them to comply. Like a marionette ensnared in a puppeteer's strings, the victim dances to the narcissist's tune. But remember, strings can be cut, and puppeteers can be unmasked. The effects of emotional blackmail can be devastating. This form of manipulation often leads to a profound erosion of the victim's self-esteem. Over time, 
As the narcissist wields fear, guilt, and obligation as their weapons of choice, the victim may start doubting their own judgment. They may feel a constant, gnawing obligation to fulfill the narcissist's every wish, regardless of the personal cost. This constant pressure can cause the victim's self-worth to crumble, leaving them feeling helpless and powerless. But the damage doesn't end there. The narcissist's manipulation also relentlessly tests and violates the victim's personal boundaries. This relentless invasion creates a maelstrom of confusion and resentment within the victim. They may feel as though they're trapped in a cage, a cage built by the narcissist's need for control, with no obvious means of escape. This violation of personal boundaries can lead the victim to feel trapped in the relationship, unable to assert their own needs. Moreover, the climate of fear and uncertainty created by emotional blackmail can lead to serious mental health issues. Anxiety and depression can creep in, fueled by the relentless fear of the narcissist's next move. This constant state of emotional high alert can be incredibly damaging, both psychologically and physically. The victim often feels trapped, unable to assert their own needs. The impact is profound and far-reaching, a testament to the power of this insidious form of manipulation. But remember, understanding is the first step to breaking free. Breaking free from emotional blackmail requires awareness, resilience, and support. The first step is acknowledging the manipulation for what it is. This emotional chess game played by narcissists is not a reflection of your worth, but an underhanded strategy to control you. Once you identify these patterns, you can begin to resist falling victim to them. Setting boundaries is a critical part of this process. Be clear and firm about what you will and won't tolerate. This might seem challenging, especially if the narcissist reacts negatively. But remember, their reactions are just another attempt to manipulate you, not a reflection of your worth or validity. And you don't have to do this alone. Surround yourself with a support network of friends, family, or a therapist. These individuals can validate your experiences and provide guidance, helping you regain your emotional strength. Isolation is a powerful weapon in the narcissist's arsenal. By seeking connection and support, you disarm them. If the emotional blackmail is overwhelming and impacting your well-being, consider seeking professional help. Therapists and counselors can equip you with tools and strategies to navigate these challenging situations and begin healing from the emotional abuse. You deserve respect and healthy relationships. Don't hesitate to seek help and reclaim your emotional well-being. The road to recovery may be challenging, but remember, you're not alone in this journey. You have the strength to break free from the chains of emotional blackmail.